it's not paved, they go, well, I don't know. It'd be fun to take a bike, a dirt bike, or a mountain bike out here. Just kind of like a little road below us, you know? Yeah. You could ride forever. Now you can see off to the right there the three the three sisters. Yes. That's where, where the airport is. Yeah. In that direction. I'm looking for. I think there's a couple of roads out here, and it looks like there's a, a, a like a, a, a electric like station. Well, there's a road there, but I think there's an electric station out over here. Okay. That um, I see a lot of poles on it. So I think I'll go that way and see if there's any any roads or whatever that come down. I see a road that comes down from there, and I see a little road, but that one looks like it might be bigger. I've been out in this direction in the past on quail. Not this side of the escarpment, but the Rio Rancho side. But as I recall, I ran into a fence line and couldn't get you know, out to these roads. But you know, there might be a break somewhere where you can. That's a neat looking formation down to our left. That little mesa oh, yeah. top down there. Oh yeah, right there. That is cool looking. It looks like there's a, right and straight in front of us, looks like there's a, like a, a house or a little, a couple of houses or a little ranchette or, you see it? No, I can't see Below it us. your shoulder. I'll go to the right here a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I see it. It's kind of down there in that wash. Yeah. Sure. And there's that so road. Somebody's got to be able to get to that. Yeah. And it and doesn't look like that road. down from that, whatever that is right, right there. It doesn't look like there's anything that comes this way to it. I don't see it. Can you imagine being out here at night? Oh. What the, sun, the stars look like out here? When I first moved to Placidas, which was back in 81, you, it was, the Milky Way was so intense. And now because of the city of Albuquerque and Santa Fe, it's dimmed, but still on moonless nights, we get some spectacular stargazing. Yeah, out here, Alan coyotes would be fun. Yeah. But I see that road you're talking about right down there to the left at about uh, 11 o'clock. That road on the right looks better though. Looks like it's more, yes. better maintained. This may be a private road. Could you know, be, yeah. That, from that the, road off to the right goes past a water tower or a, a, a water tank for the cattle. Yeah, you're right. That, let's go. We'll fly over that one. Okay. And see. I don't, th I don't think there's any fences this far up. Now look here, do you see this road that's straight here? Yeah. That one looks like it's pretty paved, and maybe that one, maybe that's northern that comes over here to that road there. Huh. Oh, I want to show you something. You see back here that white pond back there? Yeah. You see the road in front of it? Yeah. We land on that road there and farther up, the road ends, and we'll land on that road, come out here and camp out here too. Oh wow, nice. But that road is so smooth, and it's out in the middle of nowhere, so this is northern, because I know this road here goes to that out there, you can so see. Th so this is northern here. Yeah, I think it's northern, because southern is farther down. But this is open. Well, I can take that from my house, just off of uh, 528. And I think this is actually northern right here. Okay. And you come up here and then you turn and then you find you get on that road. And that road, we've we've come out here from that road with uh, pickup trucks and four wheelers, four wheel drive, and the road is fine. You know, I, when I moved here, I built my house in 1987 uh -huh. up in North Albuquerque Acres. Uh -huh. You know where that's at? Sure. And um, I built up there. I wanted to build in, in Placidas, but 
my builder said that there's the water issues and problems up there. There is. It depends on where you're looking. Uh, usually the rule of thumb is on the north side of 165, which is the main road going through there, up to about the village, you're okay because you're tapping into the Rio Grande Aquifer. On the right side, which would be the south side of 165, which is where I live, you got to be careful. Uh, I live in an older development that's fed, we have, uh, our water system is fed by a spring. So we've got great water, but around us, people that have gone dry over the years, and I've had to replace wells and stuff. So yeah, you, and a lot of the newer developments up there now have water systems where they've got big tanks. You know, they punched a couple wells down six, eight hundred thousand feet. They're in good shape. Well, you know, <laughs> that's what bothered me the most is my builder said, you know, Jim, there's water problems out there, and he says, go to North Albuquerque Acres. You get a nice acre up there. Look over here. If we can see that road, there's no fence sure, on it. Sure. So it looks like it's pretty clear for you to come out here. But he said, let's go up there. Let's let's look at the, uh, I mean, um, North Albuquerque Acres. So I went up there and I found a lot up there back in 87 for 33,000. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we put in a well and we hit water at 900 feet. <laughs> 900 feet. Yeah, but that's Damn. not that's not the best part. I said, you know, everybody out here is hitting at 900, 600 to 900 feet. I said, how much more to go down the next level? So we went to 1165. And, and then after it was all done, I said, hell, I could have gone to Placidas and that's right. And been lower than that. Oh, shit, I just put in a new well <laughs> in my development. Um, a replacement well, so we punched it about 100 feet from the old one. Yeah. And the old one was at 175. We went down 560. We got water at 200, but to be on the safe side and to get through some formation that was collapsing, he went pretty deep. But our, our pump sits at about 220, and shit, we get 15, 20 gallons a minute. Of I've trouble. got, I've it's got just 18. a backup well. Yeah. I've got 18. What is that out there? Where we off to the left. Oh, that's about. a solar farm. Oh wow, really? Yeah, okay. you want to fly over it? Sure. Yeah, it's a solar the solar panel for Rio Rancho or for P and M. So you think this road off to the right is northern? It's got to be. And that's going by that water tank up there. Yeah. Straight well, up. you can look at it on Google Earth. I think you can okay. see these things. Well, that certainly that uh, uh, solar farm yeah. would be a good landmark. And that tower too, but see if you look out, the, the the road gets like real large up here. Yeah. You see, it looks like it's well, paved it, and everything. Well, yeah, and I it think looks that's like the, the two lanes up there. The, and I think that's the north. That think that's northern. Okay. I think that's the the main road north of town. Somebody's got a junk pile here at about three o'clock. <laughs> Jesus. It's like there's a little house on it or a little well, trailer like or something. like a little shit shack with yeah. crap all over it. You know, that's the thing that bothers me too is, is that you get on these roads, like there's a car on there, you get on these roads and you see people come out here and they dump their mattresses oh. and stuff, you know? Refrigerators, TV yeah. sets, washing machines. Yeah. No, that's a cultural thing. It's awful. That's a big solar farm, p and Well, that'll be easy to find on Google Earth. Yeah. And you got that water tower there at about 1 o'clock. That'll be the other landmark, and that road runs right adjacent to it. If you, let's see what we are from. We are eight miles from Double Eagle. Huh. So. If you look on your map and just sort of go north on right. double from Double Eagle, you'll run into this. Yeah, look over on the right-hand side. That road right there yeah. Yeah, turns you, from paved my Prius on that. from paved <laughs> to to dirt. Oh See yeah, it? yeah, yeah. And no fence. You want to go down and look at the street sign? <laughs> sure.
All right, so tell me, so far, what do you think? <laughs> it's just a lot of fun, a lot of fun. How does it compare to gliders? Uh, totally different. With gliders, it's like you're going from elevator to elevator. Just, you know what I'm saying? Because there's, and it's totally quiet. Yeah. With this, it's like, uh, it's Sports like car. sightseeing at 700 feet in areas you could never get to. Yeah. You know, you could never get to in a glider at this elevation. You couldn't get, yeah, it's unique. It really is. I like it. It's a lot of fun. Good. You know, there's... You know, it's not near as loud as I expected, too. Well, we, these are good headsets. Right. <laughs> um, there are guys, and I don't... You probably know this, but there are guys that fly out of Moriarty and take off early morning, and they'll fly up to Colorado and back in a day. In a glider. In a glider. Yep, yep. I've... Got to help them if they run into a... Th you know, the thing about the gliders is you want to find thermals. Yeah. But thermals, you know, create clouds and you got to be careful that you get out of there if there's something building that could get you in trouble you know what i mean yes uh, but it was fun i enjoyed it yeah i, I want to up. you know the, to me there's no pure aviation than a glider you know that right. you you have to be a purist to uh, be a glider to be able to identify the clouds and be able to fly to that cloud and know where you're going and, and be able to navigate with with just air. Right. It's just it's just so appealing to me. Well, being able to put a glider down on a runway requires you to. I mean, without any power, it's uh, yeah, it's amazing. You know, there's a guy out of Moriarty that has a glider. It has a jet engine that goes inside. What? And he takes off with that jet engine. It's a, a, a small little jet engine. It weighs about, I think, about 75 pounds. Oh, wow. And this thing is built into the, the jet, and he pushes a button, and this jet, this, this engine comes out of, the, out of the back fuselage, and he starts it up, and he takes off. He climbs up to altitude and shuts it off. That's, uh, I'd love to see that. That sounds like something out of James Bond. You know that there's an air show out here on Saturday, out at Double Eagle. And he comes in from Moriarty. He's been yeah. here the last two years. So oh, wow. this, this air show is free. When is that? Saturday. This last Saturday? No, no, coming this coming Saturday. Oh, what time? 9 o'clock. Well, they think they open at 7, but they'll go from like 9 until 3. Hell, I might bring a grandkid out here and yeah. check that out. That'd be fun. I'll be out here. I'll put, I've got this on display. There's some balloons up here. See it on the left? Uh, above the above the Manzanos. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see them. One, two. Now I'm going to call three. the airport. I'm going to tell them that I'm about five miles north. Double Eagle Tower track 364 is five miles north and uh, 6,500 inbound for full stop. Track 364, Double Eagle Tower, you better set up for a straight into 22 or a right base entry to 22. I'll take a combination right straight in for 22, 364. So is that the airport? Track 364, Roger, and uh, give me a call two miles north for uh, runway 22. The wind is calm, altimeter is 3027. Roger, I'll report two miles from Double Eagle, 364. Yeah, that's the airport right there. Okay. Now, I always love this question, and everybody gets it wrong, so how far do you think I am from there? Right here? Yeah. Three miles. Close. I'm more like 4.7 miles, 4.6 miles. Looks closer than that. I know it. I know it. It does. I love when I get people up here and I say, how far do you think we are? I'll get 20 miles and I'll get I'll get anywhere from 20 miles to a, a mile. Right, right. From up here. It just sits up there by itself, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, that's the prison over there? Is that right? No. The old jail? No. That Where that brown building is? Yeah. No, that's the... The sludge plant. Oh, okay. And 
and I'll, t I'll tell you another thing. You see those little um, just way off to the right. Yeah, uh, the, they have is that little the shooting range. That is. I've been out there. There's a gun. There's a, a ski range. Right. That's right. out there. That's what that is farthest. And then this this side between that building and that is the uh, Rifles, pistol pistols range. And yeah. Stuff, yeah. Now, I've been out there shooting everything from black powder to pistols and shotguns. Yeah, it's it's, it's a nice facility. But I thought that the detention center was out here somewhere. I think you'll see the detention center is more. You see those built those straight south, out there south of the yeah. airport. Okay. That's those buildings there are the there's the Tempur-Pedic building and that. Okay. And then if you look just to the right of that, there's some dark. Um, well, it looks like some towers out there, but in between those towers, the far building on the right. Yeah. And the the Tempur-Pedic, there's some white and some trees and stuff that's in the middle. That's the prison. This is uh, Paseo, is that right? Or yes. What yeah. Turns Did you, into Paseo. Is that what you came up on? No, I came out Coors. Oh. I mean, I'm, uh, I came out I-40 and then out uh, the gun road just because I knew the traffic was going to be okay. Well, when you go home, when you pull out, just turn left. Yeah. And get on Paseo and it'll bring you straight out to I-40. I mean, I-25. This is the way I come in the mornings. Okay. Yeah, all the, all the traffic is going the other direction, I would think. Yeah. There's really no traffic up here. It takes me about 20 minutes to get there from home to get here. I'm anxious to take my bike out here sometime. This looks like you could just go forever. Now, the airport has... Do you know how the runways, the numbers work on no. an air? Think of a big compass, okay. and the prevailing winds are, are are identified. And what the airport does is it puts, hang on one second. Double Eagle Tower, track 364 is 2.2 miles northeast inbound for runway 22. Track 364, roger, runway 22, clear to land, wind is calm. Roger, 364, clear to land, runway 22. So it's a compass, and they sit it on there.